Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the Manana Ventures Tutoring YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Okay. Now, in today's topic, we'll be dealing with frames. Okay, we're going to start with the Bose notation. Now, Bose notation is just a way of naming each member in the frame. And that's the first question is use Bose notation to name each member of the frame okay and then after that we are going to calculate the reaction forces L and R there's L over there and R over there okay now in naming um, each member in this frame you always name it in a clockwise manner okay if you can just imagine a spiral going that way okay so we're going to start there we'll name this member a we're going on a clockwise direction so that's going to be b that's c now d is this whole member there okay and now remember because we are going in a clockwise direction like a spiral this one here we're going to name it e f g such that each member will be two letters so this member here is going to be a e this member here is b f this member here is c g and so on and so on okay we are done with um, the bowls notation now let's go and calculate the reactions Okay, in order to calculate the reactions, we are going to use um, moments. Okay, now, a moment is basically a moment. It's basically force times distance. Okay? And you take a moment about a point so we are going to take a moment about the point L there where L is okay and the moment there about the point L should equal zero okay and we're gonna take it as clockwise being positive Okay, so that means what you must do is that, let's uh, look at this properly. I want us to see all the forces there. Okay, you see that the first force is 10 kilonewtons. Okay, and it's going down. And from there, it's at a distance of 0 0.5 meters. Now, what I always do is that I like to put my finger there. Or let me just put a pencil to make sure that I know where I'm taking the moment from. Okay, from that point. So, such that now I'm going to say, okay, the first force I'm going to encounter is 10 kilonewtons. And if my pencil is there and 10 is pushing there, then the whole frame is going in a clockwise direction like that. Clockwise direction like that. Okay, so the force is 10. It's positive and it's at a distance of 0 0.5. The next one, it's also going on a clockwise direction. That one is 15. Okay. And it's at a distance of 1.5 meters. Now the next one is this R. Now you see the force R is going that way. So it's going to cause the frame to go on an anti-clockwise direction. And because it's going on an anti-clockwise, we can put an equal sign and then put it on the other side of the equal sign, which will make it positive it's, it's going to be r 
times the distance of 1, 2. Remember, if I put it on this side of uh, the equation, then it, it, it would have been negative, and then everything would be equal to 0. But I just prefer putting it on the other side so that things are more clear. Okay. Now, the next thing to do is just solve for that R. Okay, we're going to use a calculator. Okay, and then we're going to say 10 times 0 0.5 plus 15 times 1.5. And we're going to get 27.5. And then we need to divide it by 2, that 2, in order to get what R is. So we're going to say divide by 2. And we get R is 13.75 kilo newtons. All right. We're going to do the same for the calculation of um, L. Okay, so we're just going to put it there. Let's just put that there. And take the moment now about R. Okay? And the moment there must be equal to zero. Now yeah, still let's take clockwise as positive. Okay? So, now we are standing there now. We put our pencil there. All right, we're standing there, and it starts this side. We have L, just uh, a force of L, and it's at a distance of 2 meters from R. Okay, so it's going clockwise. Now, uh, as you can see from here, that's, now these, these forces are causing if you're standing here are causing the frame to go anti-clockwise so we're just going to put an equal sign to put them on the other side so that they'll be positive instead of negative so the first force is 10 times it's at a distance of 1.5 plus 15 that's the one. It's at a distance of 0 0.5 from R. Okay, so we can go ahead and put this in a calculator now. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we have... Ten times 1.5 plus 15 times 0 0.5 okay is equal to that divided by 2 and we get 11.25 so L is equal to 11.25 kilo newtons now you do not end there you need to do a check just to make sure that your answers are correct. So you'll say check. Now you're checking that the upward forces are equal to the downward forces. All right. So, what apart forces do we have? We have L and R. We have solved L to be 11.25 plus R is 13.75. Now, we want to check if this is going to be equal to our downward forces. Our downward forces, we had 10 and 15. So we're going to say 10 plus 15. Then we're going to take our calculator. We'll start with this side. 
11.25 plus 13.75 is equal to 25. Okay. On the other side, let's do the other side now. 10 plus 15 is 25. 25. Therefore, our left hand side is equal to our right hand side, which means it is correct. Our reaction forces are actually correct. That's how you check them. Okay, now we're done. Stay tuned for the next part of this question.